Good evening and welcome to this act of worship on this Shrove Tuesday night. We pray God's blessings upon you and glad you have joined us here on Grace at the Cross on Facebook for a blessing and a ritual of the burning of the blessed palms. This is an act that starts the season of Lent, which begins tomorrow with Ash Wednesday, an act that per helps us to prepare our spiritual journey into this next 40 days of self-discipline and of prayer uh, to return to God with all our hearts and minds and souls ready once again to receive the good news of the empty, empty tomb on Eastertide. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We come together to make necessary preparations for our Lenten journey. For over 1,500 years, the church has used ashes to mark the beginning of Lent. These ashes do not come from any ordinary fire. They are from the palms we used last year on Palm Sunday to remember Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. The ashes set the tone for Lent, which is marked by a more serious attitude about deepening our friendships with Jesus. Certain things are not done during Lent. The word Alleluia is not used in prayer, whether spoken or sung. We stop doing some things we take for granted, like always eating when we want. We do this to remind ourselves that we need to rely on God more and more. We will be taking a little pilgrimage together, just a short walk that invites us to think about how Jesus calls us to walk with him each and every day. We need to take with us a light that will show us the path. We have this light in us through baptism. It is Jesus' spirit but we need to remind ourselves of this light. So that is why we carry our light from the Paschal candle. We take our light from the Paschal candle, which is the sign of Jesus Christ, our light. Let us now follow in the light of Christ. A year ago, we held these palms and shouted Hosanna to Jesus, our Messiah. We marched in procession that day with our palms hand in hand to show that we would follow him. Today we burn these palms and renew our promise to follow Jesus during Lent. Let us pray. Lord of mercy, we bring you these palms today, the remnants of the past year. As they have dried and become brittle, so they remind us of our own brittleness of how we dry up when we stop following you, thinking only of ourself and not of other people. Transform these dried palms into a useful thing, into the ashes we will use to remind us of our fragile life that always needs your protection. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. reading from Jonah, the third chapter. The Lord God spoke to Jonah and said, Jonah, go to that great city of Nineveh and speak to them for me. Jonah obeyed the Lord and went to Nineveh. The city was so large that it took three days just to walk through it. After walking for a day, Jonah told the people, 40 days from now, Nineveh will be destroyed. Repent and turn away from your bad deeds. They believed God's message, and they set a time to fast, a time when they would go without eating. Then everyone in the city, the king and all the people, dressed in sackcloth and sat in ashes. When God saw that the people had stopped doing evil things, God had pity on them and did not destroy them as he had said. 
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us now offer our prayer to Jesus, God's Son, asking Jesus to help us this Lent to be open to God's working in our life. Lord, be merciful. Save your people. Lord, save us from all evil. Save your people. Lord, keep us from doing wrong. Save your people. Lord, save us from our selfishness. Save your people. Lord, keep us from talking about others badly. Save your people. Lord, save us from being separated from you. Save your people. Lord, by your coming to live with us as a man, save your people. Lord, by your death and resurrection, save your people. Lord, by our baptism into your death, save your people. Lord, by your gift of the Holy Spirit, save your people. Lord, be merciful to us sinners, save your people. Lord God, we are sorry for the things we may have done to others that hurt you. We know that our selfish ways have to die like the palms in this fire. As the palm is consumed in the fire, it is changed into dusty ashes. Help us to let your fire of love consume us so that we who are made of dust can be changed fully into new people. We ask this through Jesus, our Lord, who will guide us this Lent to be closer to you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May Almighty God bless you this night and prepare you for our Lenten journey. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. My brothers and sisters, go now in Christ's peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We invite you to tune back in tomorrow evening, Wednesday, February 17th, for our Ash Wednesday service at 7 o'clock right here on Grace at the Cross Facebook page. God bless you this night.